this video I'll be running you through tasks and all the options you have within the tasks section within Colleague. So once you select this tab it will basically display a list of all the outstanding tasks you have as a user. However you have the option if given permission within the admin section to look at your other users tasks as well for example Trevor's. So let's head back to B. You do also have the option to pop in any notes for the tasks. So say for example, test, you select the pen, pop in the text box, what you would like for it to say on the task and then select OK. And you'll notice that that has now added that note to this task. So if you select a task, you get given a few more options along the top. You can change the priority. So for example, if it's now urgent, you select this and then you can select the priority, whether it's low, high or normal. And then you select OK. And that will change the priority, as you can see here, to high. Another option you have is to edit the task information. So if you select that and basically it will open up all the fields within a task that you fill out and you can change the information here. And then once you're happy, you just select save. Say for example you are finished with this task now and you'd like to complete it, you can. You have the option here to complete the task or you have the option to complete the task and create a new one off the back of this one. So if you'd like to do that you select this option here, fill out the new task information. So let's say the subject is test, start date today, end date, we want it done by next week. Let's select save and that has now created a new task as you can see here if you would like to just mark it as complete you select the complete task option here and it will mark that task as complete and remove it from your list of tasks if you'd like to see the information within a task you just select this one here where it says show task details and it will display all the details within that task if you'd like to see all your completed tasks, you have the option here. So if you select where it says view completed, it will give you a time field that you can change because for example, you might want to see it only from this week or you could see it for the past two weeks or as long as you want. So if you select the two date and then select the end date, say for example, you wanted it two weeks and then you press okay. And you'll notice it will display all of the tasks that have been marked as complete, but within the last two weeks. And again, you can do this for any other user as well if you've been given permission within the admin section. And once you're happy, you can go back and it will take you back through to the list of tasks that are still open. And you also have the option along the top to basically filter what's in this list. So say, for example, you'd only like to see the tasks for a candidate or a company. So you have the option to select the type of task that's been created for like the type of record. You also have the option to select the start date and the same again for the due date as well. If you'd like to create a new task, you can select add new task and all the task details will appear. If you'd like to attach it to an entity type, you can do that by selecting here firstly the entity you'd like to connect it to. So for example, a candidate. And then if you'd like to basically attach this task to an entity, you can search it by selecting the magnifying glass and the candidate search section will appear. You just pop in the relevant information and then select look up. Once you've done that, it will bring through the applicable records. You select the one you'd like and then press select. And you'll notice now it has put that record in the task. And again, you have the option to basically create tasks on behalf of other users if you have permission. And then you just pop in the subject of, the, for example, the task, and then you select the start date and the date in which you'd like for it to be completed by. And then if you have any notes, you can pop them in here. And then the task body is basically the bulk information about what it's about. So call precious And then once you're happy, if you select save and you'll notice that that is now added to the top of my tasks. I hope this helps.